guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man mad project pan. This is a project where we focus on some eyeshadows only and we we kind of don't have an end date for this. We kind of end it when we don't have any matte shadows or singles in our collection anymore or just as we want to. We started this in January so we have been doing this for so so long and I really really enjoy it because it makes me Hannah palette because that is the my man mad portion and the single ladies is four single shadows in our collection and so far I have hit pan on a lot of single shadows and then I rotate them out when I hit pan on them this is a collab with some lovely ladies that you should check out down below they will always be linked down I'm pretty sure you followed them already though they put great. The My Man Mad portion. I am panning my Morphe 35OM palette. As I said last time, I am thinking about switching it out next year because, or when I hit pan on every shade in the palette or something like that. Let me show you the progress. I have some exciting ones to show you guys. So this is how my palette is looking right now. I have some pans. And I have a new pan. I have finally hit pan in the dark shadow that I'm using in my brows. That is so exciting. I am so excited for that to be a pan. Oh my god. I have used that almost solid for like a half a year. And I'm finally hitting pan on that one. I don't really like it in my outer corners. So in my brows it's kind of perfect because I have really, really dark hair. Uh, so I can get away with a little bit darker brow. I am using this one now. I hit pan like a few days ago or something. But I am using this one now and I really enjoy it. I have it in my brows right now with a brow gel. I don't think it's too dark. Even though my roots are really really bad. So I think it's nice. And I am using consistently right now. Yeah, well, I was using this consistently. Now I have switched to that one for my brows and when I hit pan I will find a new shade in the palette I think. Today at least I have used this one even though I hit pan on it last time as well. I think I went on to that shadow for my transition thingy and then I just worked on this orange right here for my crease and for my outer corner at least today I am using this one and it is... it has a dip. It does. Yeah, I don't know if you are going to be able to see it, but it has a dip to it right here. These have been used a lot because I couldn't really decide for my crease shade, but I'm pretty sure I have used this the most. And this shade for my eyebrows, it has a dip because I was mixing these two shades in the beginning of the year for my eyebrows. Now I'm just using this one my, for my brows. So I think that will be... I will hit pan on that pretty soon. I have no idea if you can see it. It is so dark. I think you can. So yeah, that is my 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 mat, and I think I know it's insane that I'm working on this, but at some point I was going to work on this because it's a matte palette. And when we don't have any matte palettes left in our collection, we are going to do matte single shadows, and uh, yeah. Never ending, basically. My single shadows that I'm working on for this product is in my small C palette because that is where I store them for the products I'm working on consistently. The first one is a single shadow from Benefit. It is, um, I was going to see matte cream. It is not. It is kind of satin-like, but I, I wear it as a matte cream shade. So it has a dip, as you can see there. It's quite big, but I don't know when I'm going to hit pan. Not right now, at least. Maybe in a few weeks or something. Today, at least, I have it on top of cream shadow on my lid. And I kind of wanted the more satin finish look. I never wear only a satin look on my eye. But today I felt like it. Then I have the side of olives from Colored Rain. Oh, it is called Call Me Buff, this single shadow from Benefit. Because um, it was in a holiday set. The green shadow, it is looking like this. I think it is kind of a hard pan that is created on top. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I use my finger for it and that is why I haven't really experienced any difficulties with this shadow yet. So I don't know if it is hard pan or not. But 
this is getting used not as much as I would want to but it's getting used I walk quite a few times um, in July and I have a video how I used this shadow um, up on my channel last time I added in two shadows and that was this orange shade from Makeup Geek it is called Morocco this is how it is looking like it has some holes in it and that is my crease brush which is a fluffy kind of stiff brush so that is why there's holes in it um, I don't know if it is looking different than last update the last shadow and then I can uh, give my battery some rest because it's overheating but this is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Anarchy and that is the purple shadow that I put in last time I have no idea if you can see a difference I don't I think I have used it since last time. If I have, it has been like once or twice. I am using this shadow just like I um, I have used the Kiko eyeshadow that was this kind of color. Um, so that is how I am using it on the eyelid and I really like it with orange. So it is a good combo. I'm working on a white, a wet cream blush and then two slightly cooler and lighter browns i have used them for my brows a few times so um but not consistently because i really want to hit pan on some dark shadows and i can't use them all in my outer corner i need to wear them everywhere and i have used and i have used oh my god and i have used this dark shadow to set my cream or gel eyeliner i don't know if it is helping but I am using it more that way, which is always a good thing. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry about the cars right there, but I need to go. My camera can't take any more filming. So I'm going to take a break from filming and going to edit some videos to get it up for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to film anymore today. Maybe. I have some items here that I bought from London. So please let me know if you want to see a small haul. It is like one two three four five six things so basically five because one of them is gifted i will talk about that in the video but please let me know if you want to see the five items i bought in london or on vacation i really tried not to buy anything i really tried and i think i did good <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care